participation. Also, Kotha, the award goes to uh, Chen Wang. Uh, inkjet printed uh, high performance nanofiltration membrane for desalination. Congratulations, Chen Wang. So the next speaker is Chen Wang <coughs> from the University of Technology <coughs> of Australia, and she will present inkjet printed high performance nanofiltration membrane for desalination. Uh, so, uh, Chen, the uh, floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, my name is Chen. I come from University of Technology, Sydney. Today I will give a presentation named Inkjet Printed High Performance Nanofiltration Membrane for Desalination. Here is the outline of today's presentation. First, I will give a brief introduction. Then I will introduce two research work uh, along with their results and discussion. First, let's have a look about the inkjet printing technology. It has many advantages. For example, uh, it has a low production cost. It is a relatively simple, fast, and uh, scalable method. In addition, it can also precisely control the material deposition and minimize the use of uh, deposition materials. Based on these advantages, uh, it has already been applied in many research fields, such as sensors, electronics, catalysts, biological cells, and uh, ceramics. Uh, actually, the inkjet printing technology have already been used in memory files. Here, I summarized some study use the inkjet printing technology for memory modification and fabrication. In the first study, they use a printer to print MPD monomer uh, to fabricate a TFC memory. In the second study, uh, they use the inkjet printing technology to print the dopamine on PVDF memory surface for the hydrophobic hydrophilicity modification for efficient oil and water separation. In the third study, an efficient graft polymerization method was developed by printing a twisterionic monomer on UF memory with subsequent UV radiation. In the last study, they print the atrazine graphene oxide on a polymeric support for high, uh, highly effective water purification. Because of the uniform materials deposition with minimum use and the simple, turnable, and the scalable process, the inkjet printing has emerged as an attractive technique in memory field. Uh, now let's uh, start with our first study. Uh, in this study, we uh, use the inkjet printing to print SWCNT as interlayer for high-performance TFC nanofiltration memory fabrication. The fabrication consists of two parts. In the first part is the uh, inkjet printing of SWCNT on the PES memory surface. In the second part, after the successful printing of SWCNT, we did the IP process to create a polymer layer uh, to form the final TFC memory. Here are the memory characterizations of the PES memory printed with SWCNT. Uh, it's clear that from the surface morphology of the SEM images, with the increase of uh, SWCNT prints, the memory surface was gradually covered with uh, SWCNT. When the, when the prints reached 15, the memory surface was uh, fully covered. Uh, from the AFM uh, images, uh, it's clear that with the uh, increase of the SWCNT prints, the memory surface roughness decrease. Here are the SEM images of the final TFC memory. Uh, we can see that with the increase of SWCNT uh, interlayer prints, the TFC memory surface becomes smoother. Uh, from the cross-section SEM images, we can see that with the increase of SWCNT prints, the active layer thickness decrease. Uh, for example, for the control memory without SWCNT prints, the polymer layer thickness uh, is around 123 nanometer. Uh, for the S uh, TFC memory with 20 SWCNT prints, the polymer layer thickness is around uh, 41.7 nanometer. Uh, next, let's see the memory uh, performance. The first figure is about the 
permit flux and sort rejunction performance of the TSC memory uh, with different numbers of SWCNT prints. We can see that uh, from the 0 to 10 SWCNT prints, the TFC memory exhibited the increased permit flux. This is because of the thinner active layer, as we shown before. Uh, however, when the prints increase to 15 and 20, the permit flux decrease. This is because of the higher degrees of cross-linking of the polymath layer, which will create a denser active layer, leading to the decreased permit flux. So this data we didn't provide here, but uh, you can find in our paper. Um, in addition, we can see that with the increase of the SWCNT prints, the sodium sulfate rejunction increase. The optimum condition can be found at the TP15 with 15 SWCNT interlayer prints. In this condition, the permit flux is around 18 RMH per bar with sodium sulfate rejunction around 97.8. The second figure is about the memory performance and the various source as a fit solution. Uh, it's clear that the TFC memory exhibited the highest uh, rejunction to sodium sulfate, followed by the magnesium sulfate, magnesium chloride, and sodium chloride. Mm, we also did the long-term test. Uh, in this figure, it's clear that with uh, the both the permit flux and sodium sulfate rejunction uh, are stable during the operation time of 80, uh, 48 hours indicating the good mechanical stability of our fabricated TIC memory. Then uh, let's have a summary of the first study. First, a high performance TFC nanofiltration with actressin polymer layer was successfully fabricated with uh, printed SWCNT as interlayer. Second, the TFC membrane fabricated at optimum condition with 15. Uh, prints of SWCNT exhibited the permit flux of uh, around 18 RMH per bar with sodium sulfate rejunction around 97.8 percentage. The TFC memory exhibited stable water flux and salt rejunction over 48 hours filtration test, indicating its good mechanical stability. Then let's have a look about our first uh, second study. In this study, we use the injector printing for the commercial memory surface modification. Here is the graphical abstract of this study. First, uh, we print the dopamine on a commercial nanofiltration memory surface. Then we print the graphene oxide on the surface. The dopamine will self-polymerize this to polydopamine, which will act as a strong binder between the polymer layer and the graphene oxide particle. Uh, in order to have a clear view about the printing process, here we provide a video. Uh, you can see that this is a cartridge and loaded with our dopamine and graphene oxide in separately. And this is a PS memory. So now it is printing the chemicals on the memory surface. Um, then let's move to the results and discussion part. These are the ICM images of the uh, control and modified memory. Compared to the control memory, our printed memory with the increase of uh, PDA and geo prints, the memory surface are gradually covered with the layer, which is more clear in the big magnification ICM images. In addition, the contact angle value decrease with the increase of PDA and geo prints indicating the increase of the memory surface hydrophilicity. Uh, then I see the memory performance. In this figure, we can see that compared to the control memory, our modified memory exhibited the higher uh, sodium chloride rejunction uh, with slightly lower permit flux. For example, compared to the, con uh, the control memory, the permit flux is around 13 RMH per bar with 90 uh, percentage sodium sulfate rejunction for the PDA joules remembering, the permit flux is around 10 RMH per bar with nine, uh, 93 percentage sodium sulfate rejunction. 
Then we uh, investigate the memory anti-folding property of the control and modified memory. From this figure, we can see that compared to the control memory, our modified memory showed better anti-folding property. Uh, for example, at the end of operation time of three hours, uh, the normalized uh, permit flux reduction of the control memory is around 48 percentage. However, for the PDAGO3 mem memory, it's yes, around 20 see. percentage. Then we did the recycling test uh, to further investigate the memory anti-folding and recycling property. After uh, each filtration test, we did the cleaning with DI water. Um, from this figure, we can see that uh, first, the both the control memory and PDAGO3 memory, the permit flux cannot be fully recovered. Uh, however, our PDAGO3 memory showed better anti-folding and recycling property compared to control memory because of the higher normalized permit flux at the second and third cycle. Then we did the chlorine stability test of the control and modified memory, both of the memory are soaking in the 6,000 ppm sodium hypochlorite solution for one and three hours. Uh, from this figure, we can see that compared to the control memory, our modified memory showed a better and chlorine resistant property because of the minor sodium sulfate rejunction, uh, redu a reduction after chlorination time of one and three hours. Uh, then let's uh, have a summary of the second study. First, uh, the nanofiltration test results reveal that the PDAGO printed nanofiltration memory exhibited higher salt rejunction with uh, lower permit flux. The PDAGO3 printed memory exhibited enhanced anti-folding property. Uh, it also showed better chlorine resistance compared to the control memory under the chlorination time of one and three hours. Next, uh, finally, I want to uh, thank my supervisor, Professor Shong, for his kindly uh, support. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, John. Uh, we have a question. Zhong Yao Zhu. Uh, hi, hi, Chen. Nice uh, talk. Could you give some comments on the difference or advancement of print? between your print method and spray coating strategy? What was what, the difference and the advances uh, provided by print against spray coating? Print and spray coating. Uh, yeah. I think uh, our print, um, the main advantages of the print uh, technology is the minimum uh, of the use of chemical. Um, uh, there is, uh, it can, it's a very uh, little amount of the chemical used because some of the chemical, they are very expensive, like the nanomaterials. Uh, so the minimum use of chemical can save the memory fabrication cost compared to the spray coating because during the spray coating, uh, we can, we are not, uh, we know that uh, there are some chemicals waste during the memory fabrication process. Uh, so, I think uh, my talk answered your question. Okay. Uh, other questions? No other kind of questions on the floor. I have one. Um, do you? Um, ah, I want to ask to speed of the injet. And there is another crystal. Crystal Leung. It's something. Is the is, question is. Uh, what is the speed of the inject? Uh, weight or uh, uh, the speed of the inject the printing, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, please uh, along asking this. Yeah, I think it depends on the printing quality. Mm, you know, there are uh, different kind of printing quality. You can choose a uh, uh, maximum uh, quality, the best quality, and normal quality. In our case, if we choose the maximum quality with the high highest uh, uh, DPI, it will take around uh, one minute to finish one cycle of printing. But if we choose uh, a normal quality, 
uh, with uh, Lice DPI, it takes around uh, 15 seconds to finish one cycle of printing. Okay, I have a last question here. Um, did you try to to use this membrane in high pressure, or or I saw I saw usually usually you test the membrane is low pressure uh, application. Did you try to use this one in high pressure? Uh, high pressure. Uh, or, or, or what is the highest pressure you are you using? You know. Uh, actually, highest pressure is around 10, 10 bar. It's, uh, yeah, it's because. It's we fabricate this memory uh, mainly for the nano filtration, so we haven't tried with the uh, okay, 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 nano, yeah. yeah, it's okay, then, then it's okay for nano filtration. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. As we have not other